The wrath of Typhoon Rai, locally known as Typhoon Adet, remains in our painful history. Narratives of people still echo the damages as Typhoon Rai made landfall, affecting Filipinos in Visayas and Mindanao, with Surigao Island as the most affected area. But today, seven months after the landfall of Typhoon Rai, we together with the Philippine Red Cross, are now ready to recount our narrative with hope. December 16, 2021, Typhoon Rai hit the Philippines. With a water tanker, a food truck, an ambulance, and payloaders, the Philippine Red Cross immediately responded through its humanitarian caravan. A 6x6 truck loaded with two generator sets, 5,000 face masks, 400 boxes of ready-to-eat meals and medicines were delivered to the affected areas. Typhoon Rai is said to be the most powerful storm in 2021. But that didn't stop the Philippine Red Cross, together with the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, from providing assistance to all the people affected by the typhoon. Prepared to aid the most vulnerable, ready to give hope to others, what makes it harder is that we are also battling the COVID-19 pandemic. But this challenge only made the Philippine Red Cross stronger and more innovative in ensuring the safety of the people by reminding them to practice safety protocols in the evacuation areas to prevent the spread of the virus. January 2022, the Philippine Red Cross continued to deliver food and non-food items. In a diplomatic meeting with different ambassadors worldwide, partner national societies, and the PRC Board of Governors, Philippine Red Cross Chairman and CEO Richard Gordon appealed for more donations to efficiently respond to Typhoon Rai hit communities and provide homes to the most vulnerable families. February 2022 the Philippine Red Cross National Headquarters and its chapter in Cebu traveled to the Alcoy municipality to deliver items to the beneficiaries and provide water distribution to places with limited to no supply of clean and potable water. March 2022 The Philippine Red Cross monitored the typhoon-affected areas by distributing clean and potable water in Lapu-Lapu City and Cordova municipality conducted hygiene promotion activities, served hot meals, and provided non-food items. As of June 6, 2022, the Philippine Red Cross has provided the following. 16,735,096 liters of water, hygiene promotion to 349,750 individuals, hot meals to 125,993 individuals, ready-to-eat meals to 9,917 individuals, psychosocial support to 22,561 individuals, and other non-food items. The Philippine Red Cross will continue to help until the affected communities reach their full recovery. The Philippine Red Cross continues to hold its mantra. Volunteers plus logistics plus information technology equals a Red Cross that is always first, always ready, always there. <laughs>